Hi, I'm Mr. Dring from Fulford School. I hope that you're well. This video is designed for Year 7 computing students and your parents to get you started so you understand what's expected and how to access the resources for your computing. Okay, first of all, remember your number one priority is to look after yourself and to look after your family. Um, but one way that you can look after your family, you will drive each other crazy stuck in a house together for the next couple of weeks. So giving your parents a bit of peace and quiet whilst you work through your, um, your work uh, will be one way that you can show a little bit of kindness and compassion to them. Thank you. So we'll send out a new project each week. Um, we'll put the link on class charts and it will take you to the same place each week, the Year 7 Computing Objectives and Progress page of the VLE. Now you can follow the link um, or you can just um, go to, um, to Google and search for um, Fulford VLE. Remember you're going to need your school username and your school password to log in. If you forget your class charts login or if you forget your school username and password, just get in touch with the school and we'll reset it for you. Fab. So, I'll show you the first one and then each week the project will take the same kind of structure. So the first one is building on what we've been doing in lessons with hardware and software and you'll notice there's a selection of different tasks. We'd like you to try and do at least one each week. The easiest ones, the fastest ones are at the top and the more challenging and creative ones are down um, towards the bottom. Um, and you can do as many as you like. For each one there's a link to click on. Um, so for example this one um, takes you to a word search on different parts of the computer. As you find a, a word, for example um, this says mouse, keyboard, scanners, graphics tablets, these are input devices. You want to try and find a word, click on the first letter and the last letter and it ticks it off when you found it. Once you've finished any of the tasks, screenshot them, pop them into a PowerPoint or a Word document or just save the image and also um, tick off to say that you've done that piece of work. That means that you can show your parents what you've done, we as teachers can see what you've worked through and the most popular kind of tasks that students do, we can set similar tasks for future projects. Fab. With the screenshot that you've taken, it would be brilliant if you can submit that onto Submit Evidence on the VLE. You can just go Add Submission um, and upload it on here, or add a new file if you've already uploaded something previously. Um, but if that doesn't work for you, then don't worry. It's more important that you just work through these challenges. Fab, so some of these are more exciting and more creative. For example, this one, choose all the parts for a high-end gaming PC. Um, you can choose any case. You can choose whichever um, CPU goes inside that case. We are not expecting you to buy this computer. We just want you to see how, when you change the different um, specifications of a computer, um, how that affects the price, and also what different components go inside a computer. Fab, so remember when you've completed a task, tick it off, take a screenshot, submit that screenshot onto the VLE, and then look out for the next project the next week. So all the very best. I don't know when schools will reopen, but I hope um, that I'll get to see you um, when you're all safe and well um, in the weeks or months to come. All the very best. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.